Hi, my name is Keith Bildstein. I direct the Conservation Science Program at Hawk Mountain Sanctuary in Kempton, Pennsylvania, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about what the sanctuary is today and how it began in 1934. We're located along the uh, Central Appalachian Mountains. The Kittatinny Ridge is the uh, southeasternmost ridge in the Central Appalachians of Eastern Pennsylvania, and it has long been a migration corridor for raptors, the birds of prey that come out of New England, uh, Eastern Canada, New York State, and travel uh, to the uh, southeastern United States, some going as far as Central and South America on their migratory journeys. Uh, the sanctuary owes its origins to activities that occurred here at Hawk Mountain in the 1920s and the 1930s when large numbers of, of local citizens would be attracted to the sanctuary and its raptor migrations each fall, not so much to watch the birds of prey as they migrated by, but rather to shoot what were then considered vermin. Uh, at the time, the Pennsylvania Game Commission, uh, many conservationists, fearing that there were too many birds of prey in the world, were uh, in fact telling wildlife biologists and conservationists that we had to eliminate some of those species, particularly those that fed on songbirds, game birds, and people who were maintaining poultry, their, their chickens in their backyards as well. Uh, the chief culprit in this lot was a bird called the northern goshawk, which each winter would swoop down from, from eastern Canada and the New England states and according to people at the time would infest Pennsylvania with its presence. Uh, large numbers of goshawks, large numbers of smaller versions of, of goshawks called Cooper's hawks and, and sharpshinned hawks were being shot here at Hawk Mountain along with other falcons, other beautios, red-tailed hawks, red-shouldered hawks and the like as well as both eagles that inhabit eastern Pennsylvania uh, in the autumn. They would be the, the bald eagle and the and the Golden Eagle. All of that shooting came to a somewhat screeching halt in 1934 when an enlightened conservationist who was then living on Park Avenue in New York City by the name of Rosalie Edge decided that enough was enough that even the common raptors should be protected and she enlisting the support of several Pennsylvanians and and people from New York who were willing to assist her in uh, in purchasing the property uh, purchased Hawk Mountain and created the world's first refuge for birds of prey. She hired a young uh, bird watcher from uh, New England by the name of Maurice Brune to act as the sanctuary's first ornithologist. He arrived in September of 1934, began posting the property, and shortly thereafter began counting the migrating hawks as they came through. Uh, one of the first surprises for Maurice and for the ornithological community at the time was a significant movement of golden eagles. Um, prior to the establishment of Hawk Mountain in 1934, uh, we believe that golden eagles were a rare bird in Pennsylvania. Broon counted 39 in his first migration season, uh, making that observation one of the first of many ornithological contributions on the part of Hawk Mountain. But Hawk Mountain is probably better known for its contributions to conservation. Um, by the late 1940s, early 1950s, Maurice Brune was noticing that the numbers of juvenile bald eagles were in considerable decline uh, during the migration period here. And although he had no explanation for the decline, he certainly issued a cause. This was a cause for concern for him, and he, and he alerted the conservation community of the problem. Um, as time went on and other predatory birds began to decline in numbers as well, it became evident that something was happening to these birds and it wasn't until the early 1960s that Rachel Carson writing in Silent Spring was able to identify uh, the problem, the misuse of DDT and other organochlorine um, pesticides. But it was Hawk Mountain data which were being collected before the widespread use of DDT uh, as well as during the widespread use that helped alert the conservation community to the problem and in turn al alert uh, responsible politicians to the situation and with the banning of DDT, the widespread use of DDT in 1972, the sanctuary could again continue to count uh, bald eagles 
but from the mid-1970s on, not in declining numbers, but in increasing numbers, uh, one of the great contributions that the uh, sanctuary has made to conservation. More recent contributions to conservation from Hawk Mountain include its international internship program, uh, a program that trains um, leaders in the field from throughout the world. Over the course of the last 25 years, Hawk Mountain has invited more than 250 some of the best and brightest young conservationists uh, to the sanctuary for four months of training. Uh, these interns, which have come from every state in the United States and from, from many foreign countries, go back to their homes and practice the whys and wherefores of conservation as we, as we practice them here at, at Hawk Mountain. We continue to make uh, additional contributions in raptor migration science, um, assisting others in determining the uh, global geography of, uh, of raptors, and also assisting others in monitoring populations of raptors, not only here in North America, where recently most raptors have been doing quite well, but also in other parts uh, of the world. In a nutshell, that's the history of, of Hawk Mountain Sanctuary, and I'd like to invite all of you to visit the sanctuary e either during our spring migration or during our more spectacular autumn migration when counters are, are um, counting the numbers of, of birds that are passing the sanctuary's lookouts from the middle of August through the middle of December.